I am recording too, I think. Okay. So, welcome. Hello, my name is Ivachis Montalvo. I'm the head of executive uh, director. It's, and we want to greetings and welcome to the first webinar for students in English of this semester. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Remember that as a result of the crisis caused by the COVID-19, HEADS con continues this semester also providing special support to the student community of member institutions, of HEADS member institutions in Puerto Rico, the US and Latin America as part of our vision and mission. Therefore, free of charge webinars and virtual events like this one have been coordinated on different topics. Today's webinar is titled Something More Than Leadership with Dr. Albert Troche from the Inter-American University in Puerto Rico. And in this webinar, Albert will present five basic elements to grow as leaders even uh, in times of COVID and opportunities for online volunteer service, academic, professional, and personal development. We are glad to have registered for this webinar more than 200 students from more than 25 institutions in the US, Puerto Rico, and Latin America. And I will mention all these institutions in alphabetical order. We have students from American University in Puerto Rico, Ana G. Mendez University, Atenas College, Atlantis, University College, all of them in Puerto Rico. We also have from, I think it's Baton Rouge Community College, Bossier Parish Community College, Central Luciana Technical College uh, in Luciana, all of them. And we also have in, from Colegio Universitario de San Juan in Puerto Rico, College of Staten Island from the CUNY system in New York. We also have from Delgado Community College in New Orleans. Uh, we have from UI University in Puerto Rico, from EDP University also in Puerto Rico. We have from uh, students from Fletcher Technical Community College in the US. We have from ICPR Junior College and EDP University and Inter-American University, all of them in Puerto Rico. We also have from Luciana Delta Community College in Luciana and from Nuke University in Puerto Rico, and also some of them are in the States as well. And we also have North Shore Technical Community College, Northwest Luciana Technical Community College, both of them in Luciana. And we also have from Pontificia Universidad Católica de Puerto Rico, a Programa of War Bound del Sureste in Puerto Rico. We have from River Parish Community College and South Luciana Community College. Uh, we have from Universidad Alviso in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Universidad Central de Bayamón, also in Puerto Rico. And we have from Colombia, our members from uh, students from our member institution, Universidad Cooperativa de Colombia, welcome. And we also have from Universidad de Puerto Rico, University of Houston Downtown in Texas, and from Universidad Politécnica in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Welcome to all of you, and we hope that you can enjoy and benefit from this webinar. Remember to use the chat to write down your questions or doubts to clarify your doubts on this topic. Also, remember that we are recording this uh, webinar uh, uh, for the benefit of the one who could not join us live so please keep your microphone in mute until the at the end that we are going to open you can open your microphone uh, in order of course uh, for the q a section and also to obtain a certificate of participation the ones who are interested please look at the chat because to request the certificate uh, you need to access the link indicate uh, in the chat that Stephanie is going to share in the chat. And in this link, you just need to click and submit all the information that is requested. Uh, and certificates will be only sent to those who fill that form. Uh, and it will be sent in the next two weeks. So please uh, make sure that in, in during this 
if Bella, the better today, uh, please uh, enter your information so you can receive the certificate of participation of this webinar. Also, we invite you to join us in our next webinars that we have coordinated for this semester and also ask you to help us promote this event and invite others uh, to register and participate and also benefit from these webinars too. You can find all the details of the webinars at the head.org, our website in the homepage. When you scroll down, you will see uh, this uh, screen screen that you see here is what you're going to see in our homepage. This is our next event X area. And there you will see all the information. And as you may see, we have already coordinated in Spanish a webinar for students uh, for October 22nd, also one in November 5th and another in November 10th. And the ones in English, we're still co coordinating more. So stay tuned and follow us, uh, please, on the uh, either uh, on our social media. We have accounts at HEADORG in LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And remember, and in the YouTube channels, we record all the webinars. And also, you can access those recordings from the HEAD webpage as well. To receive all the details of his webinars and news about our sections, uh, our service, excuse me, and resources, we invite you again to follow us in social media at head or RE. Finally, after the webinar, you will receive by email the link to complete a brief electronic survey to help us evaluate this webinar. We will also like your input to identify what other services and initiatives head can offer to support students like you and, and, and how you recommend us to promote those services and events. Uh, these electronic services, uh, this electronic survey is anonymous and consists of 14 multiple choice questions with space to share your feedback uh, and the estimate time to complete it's around five minutes or less if you're uh, quick enough. And your feedback, remember, is really valuable to us. Now we are ready uh, to start today's webinar. But before we start uh, the topic, I want to formally introduce a brief summary of Dr. Albert Troche, a professional career and also want to highlight that he has been since he started uh, Bella, a collaborating with heads a very loyal heads collaborator and we truly appreciate his time he always says yes when we approach him and i am so happy that you are back with us uh albert in one of your fabulous uh, were, uh webinars uh, Albert Trocher right now is the director of extracurricular activities at the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico, Bayamon Campus. Albert completed his doctor degree uh, this year in management and educational leadership at the University of Puerto Rico, uh, in the, excuse me, Inter-American University of Puerto Rico, San Germán Campus. He has been the president of several student organizations and was by president of the student council at his institution. He also has participated in several cultural exchange programs in several countries like Spain, Belgium, uh, Mexico, Mexico, Argentina, Canada, Colombia, among others. And he has attended various congresses of other consortia such as HACU and CONAHED. He is an honorary member of one of the most prestigious international honor society in the world called Golden Key. And he is also a part-time professor of the University of the Sacred Heart in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is just a brief summary of uh, Albert. Albert, go ahead. Uh, um, please uh, share your expertise on this important topic for us. Go ahead. Okay, and so your presentation. Go ahead. I'm gonna be on mute. Okay, cool. Are we sharing it right now? Can you guys see it? Yes, you are. 
Okay, can you guys can hear me? Is everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so good afternoon, everyone. For me, it's a pleasure to be here and be um, the webinar host of this uh, very interesting topic. I think this is the first webinar that I'm hosting in English, so we're going to have lots of fun here. And it is called Something More Than Leadership. We already um, give this webinar in Spanish, so uh, let's have fun on this. So I'm truly honored to be here representing the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico in Bayamon campus. And let's have fun. So here are some of the... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's right there, you know. So we need to have fun on this one. So what can I get from this workshop or webinar? Um, the first of all, this is like the objectives that we're gonna be working on. And the first one is understand that the human being is complex. There's something that we need to understand when we're working with leadership. The number two is the better your ability to work with people, the more successful you will be in both of your personal and professional life. And the last one, to succeed in the workplace, it is important to develop your skills as a leader. So it's very important for that. So do is after lunch break. Most of you already have your lunch and probably you will be sleeping during this webinar. I want to keep you active and have fun with this next activity. So we're going to do an icebreaker. Who's ready for icebreaker? So I will need that you guys turn on your cameras all that you're able to turn on your cameras, please turn on your cameras. I'm watching you all or trying to watching you people from production, please help me with the camera. So we need to do some screenshot of what is going to happen for now on. And just for this one, for the icebreaker. So this icebreaker of kind of dynamic that we call in Spanish, we call it the dynamica so we can have fun in the workshop. So we're going to do imitate the emoji. So now you're going to imitate the emoji, and then I want you, the, you guys do what the emoji does. So this is the first one. Okay, everybody, do this. Get your cameras ready. Oh my God, you look amazing. Se ven bello, como dicen acá. Mira, oh my God, look at that. Mm, we're thinking. Mm. Next one. Are you guys ready for the next one? Do you guys already take the picture? <laughs> this one is easy. Wow. You guys look great. You guys look amazing. Se ven bello. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, let's try this one. Oh, he's smiling, but he's always like, ay, ay, yo mío, espérate, me mareo. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, take pictures, take pictures. We need to take pictures of this one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, show me a heart, show me some love. We need some love, we need some love. Show me some love. Oh, I care, I care, I care. Show me some love. You guys look amazing with the love. There you go. Okay, we're done. We're done with the dynamics, we're done. So now let's get serious because this is a webinar that we need to get serious talking about leadership, okay? You can turn off your cameras and keep doing what you were doing, but please uh, be, be present on the topic that we're working on. So why it is important to know about leadership? The thing is, it has been a fundamental topic for more than a hundred years. And when you go to Google search, return approximately for 30 billion of results and thousands of studies have been carried out on this topic. Corporations spend, this is very, very interesting um, data or fact that I want to share with you guys. The corporations spend 2.2 billion on education and training of those or probably a percentage of that is 10 million is in leadership development. So this is a very important topic. This is why, why are we talking? And, and I just want to make sure why it is important that we talk about this during the next few minutes. And leadership, um, there's a definition, is a broad and relative concept, which is interpreted from different perspectives and disciplines, depending on the context. Um, we can define leadership uh, basing on the context that we're working in. We do go to church and the church, the people from church, they define leaders as, as, as a way that they are in the context. If you go to management, if you go um, to politics, in every different discipline, they have their own definition of leadership. It depends on the context. Now that we're working with students, the students also have their definition of leadership. I don't know if you guys have been Probably most of you guys have been in leadership um, congress or workshops or webinar like this one, and they make an open mic. What's the definition of leadership? And everybody starts talking about leadership, and they have their quotes, and they have no leadership is influence, and they have beautiful quotes. And then we can spend the whole hour talking about different definitions of leadership because any each one of us or 
everybody has a definition of leadership. Some of them are very interesting. Some of them are boring. There are concepts, there are theories, there are models, there are leadership styles. There are leaders. There's a lot of things that we're talking about leadership. So it's a very broad um, topic when we're working on this. So why it is important that you as student leadership uh, students are part of student organization and why it is important that you guys start gaining experience as student leaders while you are in college. There's a, a Harvard article that says that 7.0% of the world population got um, studies in university or have been in college. And I'm, I am more amazed um, based on the statistics, based on the principle that more profound than that, those students who participate in student organizations or they want to gain leadership skills, they will be they will be making a difference. So here's some of the, I, I make a, a, an article in my investigation and my doctoral was um, based on student organization. And this is what I found. What are the benefits of you being a participant of student organization or start developing your leadership skills while you are in college? You strain your public speaking skills um, because you have to do a meeting or you have to preside a meeting. You have to be in front of the people. Number two, you develop social skills to share people from other disciplines at the university outside of the academic context. If you have to do something, I, I work here with the student council back at here in Bayamon, and the members of the student council, they have to do like, um, when they do the business, that the cotizations and, and, and call the people or call the businesses that we need to, to bring them here. So this is an, a, a very interesting experience when they go out and getting some experience outside of the academic context. We all here in college to gain um, a bachelor's degree or gain a master's degree, but there is an, there is an extracurricular life that we need to develop it more uh, instead of working in academics. So we need the votes of them and getting out of the university, all those skills are very important. And there's another thing, learn to develop an annual work plan. Once you get into the workforce or you get into start working in a different company or to go to government, you have to do an annual work. So it's very interesting when you're in a student organization and you had the opportunity to learn and develop a work plan for the app, for, 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 for the for the year. And number, number four, understand the importance of effective, consist and relevant meetings. Um, <laughs> very, they are meetings and they are meetings, as we say here in Puerto Rico. Um, some meetings are very fun and some meetings are, we get into the point and some meetings we just waste our day or waste our time. While you're in student organizations and you are part of a student council, or you are part of a student government, or you are part of the board of directors of a student organization, you start to develop an agenda. What are the topics that we're going to talk about? What are the topics that we need to um, reach out? What are we are going to do? So while you are working in these kind of activities while you are in college, it's very important because you know the importance of effective, concise, and relevant meetings. There's something that will never come back in your life, and that is time. So I need to honor in this moment, in this webinar, the time that you're spending with me here in this, this very you know handsome guy talking about leadership. So it's very important to know what to do on meetings. So another thing that we need to work on or we um, develop while we're working on student organizations as student leaders, we strain, we strain, strain in the skill of mastering parliamentary procedures. Um, how many of you have been familiar with parliamentary procedures? It's very, uh, I was, I'm a former member of FFA and FFA stands for National Future Farmers of America. It's a very, uh, it's an North American organization based on, on farming. And I was part of a vocational school and those members who take act at um, or agricultural education, they have their own organizations. You know, you go to commerce or marketing, they have the FBLA, which is Future Business Leaders of America. And I had the opportunity to work on parliamentary procedure. And these parliamentary procedures um, help us to have an order in the agenda and have a very concise and relevant meeting. If you go to Congress in the Capitol here back there in Washington, D.C., or if you're in here, Puerto Rico, that's what they use. So if you are starting getting those experience while you're a student leader, it's, it's a very uh, nice opportunity. Also, you establish li liaison 
with the faculty and administration. There's something that you are gaining while you are a student leader. You are getting to know the professor outside of the classroom. You know, we get together, we probably go to travel, we probably go to Burger King, or we'll probably go to church and so in, in a different context. You get to know the faculty, which they are people that have their own experience teaching in the college, or also the administration. There's a lot of human resources while you are in college and gaining those experiences you will not gain it just staying in the classroom or just staying taking some classes just get out of the classroom and do something more uh, uh, so you can add of your academic life another thing that we do or you will be doing or you're developing while you're a student leader you develop creative strategies to recruit and retain members of your organization so you do activities. If you're in a student organization, you are there to develop yourself and strain and grow as a leader, but you're also like preparing activities. I remember I was part of an organization, student organization back in San Germán, and I was the vice president of friendship. And I was in charge of making a lot of, lot, lots of party because my responsibility was just get together with all the members of the fraternity of the organization. So it was very fun opportunity because more to get to know about and a specific topic, it is also very important to, to get friends, to do networking. You don't know if that member that is with you in the organization probably will be um, the manager of a very famous enterprise or probably be the governor or the major of your city. So just develop creative strategies to recruit and retain members and get together while you're part of the student organization. And at least by that, at last but not least, Meet experts in your area when you coordinate seminars and conference. If you're part of the biology student organization, you invite a biologist to give a conference. You're getting to know something that you will not probably get to know while you're in the classroom. Probably you can ask them some questions that you will not be able to ask while you're in the academic area. So that's very interesting when you get to meet some experts in different areas that you are studying it. So do coordinate seminars and conference. Are we having fun? I, I just having a lot of fun. Just, I'm talking a lot, I know. So now let's talk about the five elements of leadership. The first element, just five. So we're missing just four. Okay, attitude, attitude. So when we're talking about attitude, it's very important that as leaders, we develop these things. You know, um, I wanna start, start with this one. We have the thought, good leaders, have we all have thought but the good leaders make this graphic those thoughts go to a filter and you make a reflection should i say this or should i not what am i supposed to communicate to the members of my organization or to my co-workers so any thought just filter it and then communicate it's just a fan of the attitude and how are you going to be working with your student organization. So I, I just love to, to do that. How are you going to communicate? Just make sure when you have those thought or probably an idea, make a filter. A student organization, I, I've been working with students and they have a bunch of ideas. They have great ideas, but most of them, they don't pass through the filter. How this idea can become a reality. How this idea cannot... Um, we can have some struggles or will be a problem if I share my idea. We, we, we know how will we share probably something on Facebook or we, we on a post or a Twitter or any of the social media, it probably we have the thought it. we just want to write it down and you don't know the consequences that will be carrying on why or you are writing it down. So there's something about leaders, they, they have this filter before they communicate. So I'm gonna ask you a question and please make it to yourself personal. What am I communicating? If I'm communicating all those all those thoughts or I'm just filtering it before I communicate. It's very important to work on that. There is a very famous quote that I wanna share with you guys. If you don't enjoy the journey, you probably won't enjoy the destination. So let's, let's, let's make this, um, Let's make a clarification. If you don't enjoy what you are doing while you're working as a student leader, you probably won't enjoy the destination, which is probably the last uh, getting your academic graduation or getting your bachelor's degree or getting the probably the destination is the May, the last months of the year where you finish as a president, where you finish as a secretary. So if you don't enjoy the journey, you probably won't enjoy the destination. Just enjoy what you're doing. And that's about attitude. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, so what are we here for? 
So <laughs> just make sure and, and write this down of this very famous and from an unknown author. Attitude, this is what Winston Churchill says. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. So how are you working your attitude with your coworkers, with your partners, with your family, any other place that you're in? You know, we all haven't, we're all having struggles. We all have been um, enforced to being part of the COVID-19 problem. So how are you making the difference between this crisis that we're struggling in or doing passing through? That attitude is the little thing that makes a big difference. Make that sure. And good leaders have a good attitude. So, okay, okay. Some some of you guys uh, show me some pictures of what you guys, yeah, I know I will be done in a few minutes. I'm so sorry. This is my web interface. Okay. The second element is about service. <laughs> There's a very famous quote of, of Will Smith. If you are not making someone else's life um, better, you are wasting your time. Your life improves by making someone else's life better. Good leaders are servers. They serve the community. The more profound that making or coordinating an activity of community service, how are you doing service between your fellows, between your members, between the people that are very near from you. So if you are improving by making someone else's life better, if you are making someone else's life better, sorry, you are not wasting your time. So what are you doing while you're working as a student leader or while you're a part of a student organization or while you're part of college and being a leader? Just make someone else's life better while you're working as a leader. I want to talk about very different platforms that you can use to make um, some project service or how can you make a difference. Um, this, this workshop was, um, was coordinated or probably was created back while we, are, we were in the pandemic, right? In the pandemic. And I was like, how we, I can I share community service opportunities while we are inside of our home when we are not able to probably go to the elderly home or probably we cannot go and, and do some community service as we used to. How can we do community services back in our home from as a, in an online um, platform and an online opportunity? So I found out some of the three um, very famous platform I want to share with you guys. The first one is Catch a Fire, where talent meets purposes, or where talent meets purpose. This is a very interesting platform where you're going to build out your profile. And while you're making your profile, you're going to write down what are your skills, what are you good at. And then once you construct the profile, they put the profile on this big um, database and they will say, oh, Albert, you are good on this type of project. Probably in Prague or in Australia, they're making a project that they need you. So you have um, the skills or probably the, the things that they need on that project and you can be part of that project from an online basis. So catch a fire, just go for the, look for it on Google, got catch a fire um, to build out your profile. You probably, if you're good at graphic arts, probably they will, somebody in Spain's waiting for you, somebody in Brazil waiting for you for the project that they're doing together. So it's a very interesting um, platform and a website. So get to know catch a fire. Another platform is Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes is a very interesting platform as well, or NAP, where you can help people that are blind. And this is a very interesting platform because you get together and you can communicate by um, your phone and you will be in kind of a Zoom as we're doing here. And probably uh, a blind person in another part of the world, we need um, something, we will need um, how to how to take the pills. Probably the pills are have to be in the morning or have to be in the day. Just basic um, daily basis uh, things are that they do. You can help them just by a video call. And just make sure as uh, you get to know Be My Eyes and how do you can help them. And it's a very nice and very beautiful project uh, for community service and volunteering. Translator with our borders, those who speak more than one language. Here in Puerto Rico, most of us uh, try or are bilingual. <laughs> I'm still working on my Spanish. So Translator Without Borders is a very interesting project as well, where you can help kids or students from different parts of the world, and you can be a translator by online. So those are the three, um, just making a summary and make sure that they were able or open during this um, presentation. So that's why I make a summary of it. And Catch a Fire, Be My Eyes, and Translator with Our Borders are very interesting programs and projects. And probably what 
this is very, something, something very interesting when you do the search on this platform. You get to know other platforms that they are as well as this one. So just make sure to, move, to, to do your search and get into this very interesting project just online and their international products. And those international projects, you can put it on your CV or your resume and getting to know that you are doing community services or you are being part of an international project. So this is very interesting as well. This is something that you will not get in, in the classroom, as I meant. I'm very proud of you guys. Are, instead of being in a class, you are being here in this workshop. Probably if I wasn't working here, if I wasn't um, giving this workshop, I would probably be on Netflix getting, getting myself um, um, you know, um, on money waste. I need to see it. So, so, you know, so I'm very proud of you guys are spending the time getting to know and developing yourself, gaining some knowledge of leadership. Another platform that I want to share with you guys is Volunteer Forever and Plan My Gap Year. This is a very interesting um, platform. If you want to know where you can do some volunteer work, now that we are probably more getting out of the pandemic thing, um, these people do some critics and they can like, you know, okay, you can be part of this project because it covers this, 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 and that. You have to cover this, this, and this. Um, probably you want to go to Guatemala they have this community project that they are making houses in a in a village in Guatemala. And okay, if you apply for this um, project or this program, they will pay you for everything. And it was okay. So these are the instructions and how can you be part of it. And also, uh, if you want to go to this project, probably this project in Brazil, you have to cover your expenses of housing. They got to cover you only the plane. Just some details that you need to know before you do some volunteer um, study abroad. Also plan my gap here as well. There are some opportunities so you get to know which programs where you can get into. Oh, so now we're going to the next element, development. So we talk about attitude, we talk about service, and this one is development. So in development, there's another very famous quote that I want to share with you guys. And I want to move the... If you got an unexpected call to make a movie about your life, Will it be a compelling movie full of risk, battle, and victory? Or will it be one of those movies where people leave the theater before it's over? I have never been in a movie that I have to leave the theater before it ends because I, I just want to make sure that I, I complete the movie. But this question is very, is very profound. It's very, it makes you think and reflect. If you got an unexpected call, they're going to make a movie about your life will be a compelling movie. How will be your life? Are you getting into risk? Are you getting some fun? It will be fun. It will be, I, I, I will give you an idea. If they call you to make a Netflix series, what, how it will be? It will be fun. It will be boring. They will have fun. I, I cannot imagine a, a series of, of Albert's life. It will be very fun. Everything that I do, uh, I travel, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a picture here, but I do skydiving. I went to skydiving, even though I, I kind of thought I do skydiving there. I had a lot of fun on skydiving. So just I just want to make a reflection here. Will be one of those movies where people leave the theater before it's over, or you will enjoy, people will enjoy what you're sharing. In the end, and this is very famous, what matters is not the years of life, but the life of the years. Probably we got so many years, or probably you were very some years old, but how many life? we have on those years, how many experiences we're getting on those years. Probably you met, you meet all people, 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 probably they don't have experiences to share. And there's very something very nice and beautiful when you get together with people that they have a lot of experiences that they have something to talk about and you have fun with it. So how many lives you're having in your years? That's what we're talking about. And when you are looking for development and when you're looking to be a better person, be a better leader, getting to know something new, getting to be a cutting edge leader, um, you are making life in those years of life that you're having. So look for development. Oh, now that we're talking about development, I'm gonna talk to you about three platforms that you probably love. The first one is Student Universe. How many of you guys have heard about Student Universe? If you haven't heard about Student Universe, oh, please take note about this platform. If you like traveling as I do, Student Universe make you discounts. It's like a kajak or a vet um, hopper kind of thing where you can make um, some 
if you'd like to buy some airline tickets, they have discounts for students at studentuniverse.com. So you go to studentuniverse.com, make your account, they're gonna verify if you're a student or not, and you will get some discount when you're buying airline tickets. So it's very fun. And also they can help you with the hotel, you can buy it with a rental car. So it's kind of a kayak orbit, but just student oriented. Also, I, I didn't share it here. Uh, probably you heard about uni days. Uni days, that's U N I days as dia. <laughs> and you need days if you download that platform as well you will get some discounts on different um stores and you can share and you can say that ah, i'm a uni day i remember when i become a member of uni days i got my casca discount card so when i went to costco and i, I got my casca discount card so i had a lot of fun there because i got my casca discount just for being a member of uni days and heads hispanic educational technology services if you have a know or get to know what is heads about the hispanic educational technology service you know, the hosting or the hostess of this very nice experiences. At the, sorry, I, I just got a text from my mom. Um, <laughs> there are different platforms on Heads. I always call Heads as Disney. There's a lot of things you do on Heads. If you're looking for scholarship, if you're looking for an, an MCAT um, review or LSAT review, just get into the student placita and get to know all of our services that we're ha having there in the Hispanic Educational Technology Services platform, heads.org, and get to know what you can gain from this um, opportunity. And the San Gallen Symposium, it's a very interesting, I just got um, the call, we call it here convocatoria, um, the call's already open yeah, for the San Gallen <laughs> Symposium. Probably you're here, you like to travel, and we talk about student universe, so San Gallen Symposium is already open the calls for you can get to Switzerland. If you want to go to Switzerland for free, well, I wanted to go, but it's for, how do you say that, 30 years old? Uh, uh, that's the top. If you were born uh, before 1992, you are not, uh, you're not a candidate. So if you're born after that, you can just write an essay and you can be part of the symposium. And probably if you win the opportunity, they will pay you everything. So you can go to Switzerland and be part of the symposium. Um, it's about, they, 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 they make you a topic and you write down an essay based on that topic. And if you win, you can be part of those students that win the scholarship and get to the St. Gallen Symposium in Switzerland. That will take place on May. So just get into it and get some information about the St. Gallen Symposium, which is open for all students of different disciplines, not also not only economy or or businesses or geology or economy. It's, it's open to all of you. So just get into it, look for it on Google, Google it if you want to go to Switzerland. No pas Suiza. <laughs> Oh my God, sweet, sweet and cake. That's the very, that's the, the, that's the nearest place that I can go. It's a very famous bakery that we have here in Bayamon or the metropolitan area that we can get some big cochos. Okay, so another element that we can, that we need to work while we are leaders and it's very precise now that we are being in a pandemic is health. How are you taking care of your health while you are a leader? Probably as young, we ignore our health. We feel that we are full of energy and power, and probably uh, we need to work on some stuff. So it's very, the, when you get when you get sick while you're a leader, you will you will feel yourself like the story because of what what am I to, about to do now? I, I, I always full of energy. There's a lot of plans. I have a lot of things to do. I have a very uh, long to-do list. And what can I do now? So just take care of your health so you can, have fun while you're working as a leader. Remember, we talked about attitude in the beginning. So here are some bullets that, that I want to share with you guys. The leader must take into account the importance of taking care of his health. And there's an article that talk about this one, two, three, four, five, five topics. And the first one, little breaks. How often you're taking little breaks while you are studying and also being a student leader and being part. Probably you are in, you have an academic life and you also are a student leader, and also you have a extracurricular life. Probably you're part of an athlete club, or probably you are part of a church, or probably you are in politics, or probably you're doing something outside of the college area. You're part of a civic organization, or you do take some little breaks while you're working. 30 minutes of exercise. How many often you do some exercise? At least 30 minutes walking. If you have to do a meeting, I remember when the pandemic started and I had a meeting, I was walking around the campus or walking around my neighborhood and having the meeting in the neighborhood, just walking. Just do 30 minutes of exercise. Back to nature, how often now that we 
are in a city or probably you're not in a city, how often do you go and just go to the sea or the beach or, or get into the forest and just get back to nature, also meditate. Probably as leader, we are taking decisions often, 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 and we don't have time to meditate. Just meditate on the decisions that you have to take and which ideas, how to share. Remember when we talk about attitude, those filters, if you meditate and use some meditations and some reflections, probably um, those decisions will not be a risk or be a problem. And use music as an ally. Get a Spotify premium, um, the $5 student premium. You as a student can get, oh, we're going to talk about it later. But use the music as an ally. How do you, you, you hear music? And what is the lyrics of the music? If, <laughs> what are you hearing at the beginning of the morning? And in the beginning of the morning, which lyrics are you hearing? That will be this, that will be a definition of what will happen and how would you will feel during the day. And at least at last but not least, entertainment leaders have the right to be entertained, to have fun, to enjoy what you're doing. How often do you do a fun activity in your student organization or in your classroom or in your daily basis? So here's the LinkedIn. Well. Entertainment is not, <laughs> LinkedIn is not entertainment, it's not about work. But what we were talking about in this workshop at the beginning is, do you make the update of LinkedIn uh, while we, we were in the pandemic? Because probably we're working a lot and we forget about LinkedIn and get it and into no probably getting to grow our network. So how are you, how is your LinkedIn right now? And also get to Spotify. I also want to share some documentaries that we have on Netflix, some documentaries that we had on HBO now, or, or probably all those beautiful platforms or do something that you enjoy while you're doing. So that's another element that you need to work on where you are a leader. Okay, so now if you want to keep hearing Albert, so I have a podcast and I have a live on YouTube channel. So, oh, oh, okay, it's Hablando Liderazgo con Albert, but he's talking about leadership with Albert. I think I have two. Two of them are in English because I remember I invite this um, resource as we call here and this in these people that I invite, they did not domain Spanish. So I was, okay, I will, I will do my best in English, my, my tropical English or my Criollo English. So <laughs> two of them are in English. If you want to be part of it, just write me on any of the social media. So we are on um, Spotify, we're on YouTube, Facebook, and also Apple Podcasts and most of the channels in Apple Podcasts. So if you want to keep there's some interviews, our goal is to interview at least 100 leaders. And we are already on 57 leaders since the season four. So getting to know some leaders because we don't know everything about leaders. So I need to know about leadership and interviewing leaders. So if you want to get to know about interviewing leaders and probably some of our services that we do outside of the of what are we doing in the academic area? Just make sure to go to Albert Troche Facebook, Motivational Speaking and Professional Coach. Any questions? Let's start with the Q and A. Yes. Oh, is, is you follow, wait, you want to follow me on? Just take a screenshot of the, and you can follow me on Instagram, so we can keep in touch. Toma la foto para que para que le enseñen lo Instagram. Okay. Okay. There you go. So I'm just gonna keep that that page. If you have any questions. We're open for asking some questions. Let's start a Q and A. Yes, uh, this is the time I have seen some comments on the chat, but it's just to agree with you what you're saying. And I'm putting all the elements. I need to put the last one, but the last one was entertainment, right? So yeah. the five elements to review here is attitude. Is uh-huh. Attitude, uh, no, service, development, health, and entertainment. Entertainment. Now you have it. Uh, so you have all the elements. And if you have any questions, uh, we have plenty of time to interact with Albert. If you want to open your mic, this is the time. Uh, please do so. Yeah, Sara, thank you. Uh -huh. Probably we have a lot of public for Puerto Rico. If you want to ask questions in Spanish, feel free exactly. to ask it as well. So, yeah. yeah, and Albert can definitely translate for the benefit of everyone. Of course, of course. <laughs> and also, Stephanie, if I remember, uh, remind you 
that if you want the certificate of participation, click on that link so you can put, uh, 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 you can write down or uh, submit all the information so we can send you the, uh, the yes, uh, go ahead. Who have a question? See, sí. May Daily and Christian is living. Bye, Christian. Nice to meet you. Follow me on Instagram. Ah, ah que okay. Me Instagram. Dígame en Instagram. Alguien, I, I hear someone. Solo uh -huh. quería decir que me gustó mucho la presentación. Ay, gracias, eh, Maydeli. No fuiste bien carismático, me gustó. Me hiciste reír. Ay, qué bueno. Imagínate que fuera en español. You are from, sí, no, no, we don't want to imagine this. Maydeli, you are from where, eh, qué institución, Maydeli? De la Universidad Ana G. Méndez, Reciente Carolina. Uh. Excelente, mira, from Ana G. Méndez in, uh, in Puerto Rico. So, and let me clarify, thank you, uh, Albert, for giving us uh, Bella, the, the promotion of the HEADS website. Remember that in HEADS.org, in our services, you can find all the services divided per uh, audience. We have from services for faculty and administrators, and of course, services for students. And you can also click on the student placita there from there on the student placita portal. So you can see all the services. All the services are free of charge and are open. Only two databases are closed because are exclusive services for our member institutions. And those are the ones that uh, Karen, our consultant for students, support services mentioned that you need a passcode, uh, only a passcode to enter the database. You don't need to pay anything. You don't need to log in anything. Once you are in the database, then you have to create a user and a password so you can have access anytime you want to to the database. In the first one, the Peterson test prep to give you a very brief idea, you can look for scholarships from technical uh, degrees up to master and doctor degrees scholarship from different organizations and institutions and uh, there you can do the search and then give you all the instructions to submit uh, to apply for those scholarships. Also you will find more than 100 standardized tests like the NCAT for medical um, a, a school, uh, LSAT for the law school and all these tests are uh, very similar, are totally uh, the same of the ones you're gonna be taking in real life. And you, at that database, you have the opportunity to go there, practice the test, the database uh, give you the score, and then you can review which ones you didn't have uh, the lack of red and why. And also the database provide you, you can download from the database the, the guide uh, to get prepared for the test. This is in the Peterson test spread. Also in the, the uh, other uh, uh, database is the Peterson career prep. And in that database is more focused to give you information about all kind of different professions, careers, also templates to create your resume, also have a very neat uh, uh, job and internship search integrate with Indeed and also an assessment to help you evaluate uh, based on your needs, your values, your preference uh, when you go to work and your interests which is the career that is more suitable for you. And you can have access to all these services on the Student Placita if you don't have the access to enter those two databases that are the only services that need passcode. Please feel free to send an email to info at heads.org or you can write down, write to in a private chat to Karen and put the name of your institution and she can give you uh, Bella, the, the, your passport right away. Okay, uh, Stephanie, if you can put uh, the info at, at, at uh, heads.org uh, email, it will be great. Uh, dime, Karen, go ahead. Jesus Plaza wrote a, a question. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 go yeah. ahead. Jesus. Go ahead, Jesus. Albert. My, my good buddy, Jesus. He, who is the leader that inspired you more? I will say it's a very profound question, and I just want to make sure that I'm asking the right question, uh, asking the right way. Uh, I will say John C. Maxwell. Have you heard about John C. Maxwell, a very famous author? The thing is about John C. Maxwell, he's now, he used to be a leader, and now he's working as a leader as well, but now he's sharing the knowledge that he gained while he was a leader. 
where he was, uh, if you can see my podcast, I'm trying to interview a hundred leaders. And when he talked about his first book, before he get his first position as, I remember his first position as a leader was a pastor of a church in the West Legend Church back in Indiana. And he interviewed a hundred leaders before he get this opportunity of being a leader. And then he was another pastor and then he was a CEO of another company. So that's why, uh, that's, that's, the the, that's the one that inspires me the most. And there's a lot of knowledge to share based on the experience. That we can go to the pragmatic area with John Dewey. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Plaza, Jesus Plaza de... Vayamos en la casa. <laughs> yeah, that would be great to see some of the, Bella, the, the persons who inspire our students in, the, in this webinar, if you can write, Bella down. In my case, it's Bella uh, Jesus, of course. Bella, uh, I'm Christian, and for me, Jesus is like the perfect model to follow in order to accomplish all those elements because he was very good in service, in attitude, in entertainment, in in also in health. And uh, what was the five element? Uh, development, of course. Development, he of was, course. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to share, who, or if you want to open your mind, uh, either in English or Spanish, and share who is your, uh, the, the person or the figure that in uh, serve as a role model for you, it will be great. Any, any other comment or question? It will be great. This you is have Yes, uh -huh. another question can from Candace. Will you be emailing out the slides you present in the webinar? Candace, Candace. Yes. Uh, uh, we put the, the PowerPoint uh, in a PDF format uh, when uh, uh, together with the, with the link of the recording. So as soon as we uh, when you look in the, the same page that you register, you can go and scroll down uh, during this afternoon or, or probably by tomorrow, depending how, how, how quickly we can add this, upload this in our website. You will see the link to, get, uh, to the recording and also on the side, you will see the link to, the, to download the PowerPoint. Uh, Albert, it's no problem with you that we can share your PowerPoint, right? No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Excellent, but yeah. well, send, send me in PDF uh, the last one because I don't have the the one oh, with your- I will. With your, I will. Yeah, with your any, promotion of the podcast. Any other any other questions or feel free, a I comment have to go or back something. To Bye, Leira. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you, Leira, for your time. Bye. Any Bye. other questions, guys? Well, we finished on time. Albert, mm -hmm. anything else that you may want to share with the students before oh, we yeah. go? Follow me on Instagram if you have any further questions. So you can find me live at Inter Bayamón. So you are here in Inter Bayamón. Make sure you get to the Dean of Students Office Affair. And I'm here. <laughs> if you need the decanato. Uh-huh. The decanato. <laughs> And if someone needs the passcode for the, the head databases that I just mentioned, uh, send us an email. Send us an email to info .org. Okay? Info .org if you have any questions. Okay? And don't, and don't forget to click on the link to request your certificate. So that's it. Karen, anything else? Stephanie, anything else you may want to add? Bueno, pues, my last words is thank you, Albert, for your sharing your expertise in this topic that I know that you have been very, although you're a young man, but you have been very into that topic and your doctor's uh, degree uh, and your dissertation was exactly on those topics. So thank you so much for sharing all, all of well, some of the results of your dissertation uh, through this presentation. And thank you for inviting us. <laughs> of course, inviting us, continue uh, Bella, being a leader um, and, and um, Bella. And thank you so much for your time and please, Join us in, in the our social media so you can. Uh, we will gonna post when the recording and everything is ready. You're gonna see in our social media that you can click to see the recording or uh, download the, the slides of this.
presentation. And also you can see uh, and, and, and have no uh, news about new services, new events, and new workshops that, and events that we are coordinating, webinars that we are coordinating for you. So thank you so much for your time. How can I get access to the presentation? Veronica, I mentioned that in the same page that you registered, that is in the HEADS website, it's called Webinars for Students. At the bottom of that, you will see all the repository, all the recordings of the webinars, and this one is going to be at the top because it's the most recent one. And there you can have access to the link, and besides the link of the recording, you will have access to download the presentation in a PDF format, okay? Uh, Albert 787 on Instagram, please make sure to follow him and the link to request uh, the, the, the certificate. And also this is the page, at webinars for students uh, that Stephanie just put on the chat that you can see what are the other webinars that we are coordinating and also see the, the, the recordings of past webinars and also the, the download the presentations. So thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you in the next webinar. And thank you so much, Albert, again, for your valuable collaboration. Have a good one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Adios, adios. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, cuídense. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bendiciones. Igual. Thank you. <laughs>